that the World Economic Forum makes history. This year, the WEF summits chaired entirely by women. For the first time in the forum's 48-year history, among the historic board members is IBM Chief Executive Ginny Rometty, Norwegian Prime Minister Erna Solberg, and joining us right now from Davos, Switzerland, is KPMG U.S. Chairman and CEO Lynn Dowdy. Lynn, great to see you. Thanks it's so much for joining you. us. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, and, and you, a, a woman running this major corporation, congratulations to you. Thank you. What do you make of this all-female lineup? Well, I think they're the most qualified individuals to be part of the co-chairs this year, so I think it's tremendous. I think it's great that uh, we show that uh, women are in the forefront, kind of setting the stage for uh, Davos. Uh, but a, as you know, we still, when we look at the delegate representation, you know, we're still hovering around 20 percent, so we need to improve that. So the delegates, meaning companies, yeah. right? I mean, you've got to get com it's companies who decide who comes to Davos. That's right. And one of the things that we did at KPMG this year, kind of leading into Davos, was to do a social media campaign around women voices, knowing that you know, the representation is probably not where we want it to be. Let's get women from across the globe to add their voice to Davos. And so far, we've had about a half a million voices in the social media campaign. So it, it raises attention. To, and I think, you know, companies need to really focus on how are you getting more women into the C-suite. For sure. And, and how do you do it? I mean, the World Economic Forum published a report in November exploring the gender uh, parity in 144 countries. Here's what it found. The overall global, global gender gap can be closed in exactly 100 years. The most prominent gender gaps are economic and health-based. So what do you think it's going to take? Why is it so hard for women to get to the CEO suite, for example? Well, I think the one great thing about this is this is a conversation that's happening everywhere. So yes. there's massive attention to it. And, you know, I'll brag about my own profession where, you know, of the big four, we now, with, with the change at um, EY in the U.S., we have three women of the big four leading uh, those firms. So I think that's uh, tremendous progress. But to your point, you know, how do you make a difference? I mean, it requires you to be surgical within your company to ensure that you are looking at, do you have the most diverse perspectives at the table? You know, the conversation in here in Davos is all about, you know, disruption and how things are changing so fast. You have to be agile. Well, if, if you don't have diversity and inclusion in your organization, you won't be the most successful. So it's a business imperative. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let me ask you about your own business and yeah. what you're doing. You recently announced an, uh, the acquisition of Cyber Inc., yeah. uh, which provides cybersecurity globally. Where are your priorities right now at the firm? Well, well, I think that acquisition points to the importance of cyber as a top risk on CEOs' um, agenda all over the place. And, it, and it's, it's no surprise because with artificial intelligence as technology is being embedded in basically everything that organizations do, the threat of cyber is more important than ever. And I think you were talking about it with Microsoft earlier today, um, how that is something that every organization is focused on. I think, I think J.P. Morgan said that they'll get to a billion dollars in terms of spending on, on cyber at some point. They're at $700 million right now. Lynn, it's good to see you. Thank you so much. Great. Great Lynn, to be here. Lynn Dowdy joining us.